Hi! I think you clicked on this video because you want to find something new, beautiful and interesting. If it's true, you've made a good choice. My name is Simple, Huma, and I'm here to make your grey day better. First time I played Minecraft more than 11 years ago, and recently I understood that over this time I didn't have any full survival game. At all. That's example how you can be devoted to something, overcome thousands of obstacles and you will pass something simple. So that's why I'm nice to greet you on my Minecraft Let's Play Vanilla Adventures. Let's start with the fact that this project already has two pilot episodes, but they are so-so and don't have much interesting content and quality. Let me introduce you to our save. There we have lived for 100... Mm, give me a minute, I will fix that. That's good. So, my friend, I live on a small island near to the big taiga continent. Around there only coldness, freeze, ice, rocks, taiga and somewhere beyond we can see something warm. Like we are in... Morg? Here you can see a little storage with a big chaos in it. Nearly to it is placed farm that is giving to us a lot of meat, leather and wool. Here is also fishing place, sugar cane farm and a uh, mineshaft. Let's go further through the bridge. Here is placed beautiful field of wheat, which I was building for 2 hours. 2 hours! And you can say, Huma, you have so much different things and you don't have diamonds. Why? The reason is simple, I am thrifty. Okay, you may say that I'm Jewish. I'm planning to get third level of fortune, enchant a pickaxe and dig many diamonds, so we need villagers. Where can we find them? Well, lucky for you, I've been exploring world and found one village not far. You know, let's start with place where we will keep our villagers. And you are so lucky today because I have a good idea. Huge life complex, all life facilities, water, meal, warm. <sighs> yes, it's cellar. Living power have two places for farmers who will grow food. And peas that we will place here later will increase food growing speed. Let's deliver villagers. I won't tell about how hard it was to deliver first villager. I was digging, swimming, digging, swimming, unstuck, dig again. I wish you will never know that. But villager was delivered. And now please leave a like and subscribe because I lost too much time to translate that video so you can now watch it. And there are many videos that you will see later. Nice, we need second one to grow up our village population. By the way, I've traded with our new neighbor. Dragging new villager, placing him and waiting until they will make second farmer for us. After time, village population increased. Nice! Waiting some time and taking villager to start abuse fortune book. It's not hard process and won't take much time. <laughs> Isn't it? And while I'm trying to get fortune, check books that I've passed. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, your attention are presented with a list that called Humus Luck Level. Efficiency 5, Silk Touch, Mending, Unbreaking Free, and finally, after 30 minutes of my tournaments. You are sitting here, yeah? How much? How much? 
half of an hour. Half of an hour you're sitting here and trying to get this stupid fortune free. So good. Uh. Yep, I'm lucky. However, nothing new. But you think I've gave up? Yeah. Oh, I mean, no. I've pressed sitting and say to myself that I won't be calm until I'll get fortune free book. And after 10 more minutes... How much time? How much? 37 minutes and 50 seconds. 37 minutes and 50 seconds I've lost to get... Let's go! Buying the book, crafting diamond pickaxe of diamond we have, crafting the anvil, enchanting on efficiency, my ending fortune... <sighs> Not enchanting, trading with villagers, getting an experience, giving to PKX good name and finally go to the mineshaft. That's how we've dug out 103 diamonds.